Today we're going to be talking about the alto clef and tenor clef, simply also known as C clefs, right? What they determine, so for instance, this is the alto clef, and think of it as an A, right? The middle C is right there in the middle. We write the key signatures for the alto clef the same way as we would for the treble clef and bass clef. So for instance, Father Charles goes down and ends battle. Look at the flats. Battle ends and down goes Charles father. So the same pattern for the alto clef. And remember, think of when you write A, you've got a capital A, that's going to determine where middle C is. The alto clef is used for instruments such as the viola and English horn. That was easy. What about the tenor clef? Now the tenor clef is different. Think of, see how we place it? It's written, it is on, the middle C is now on the fourth line. So think of it as writing a capital T. All right, so there's your middle C. But look at the pattern. It's written the same as if it were to be in the treble clef or bass clef, right? So we have Father Charles goes down and ends battle. So different than how you would write it in the treble clef and bass clef, it's the pattern is two, 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 one. Look at the flats. They're written in the same way. The two, 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 one. Battle ends and down goes Charles' father. So remember the tenor clef, this is your T on a fourth line and it determines where middle C is. And the pattern of the sharps is different than how you would write it in the treble or bass clefs. That was easy.